Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to solve another problem. Problem is longest palindromic substring. So in this problem, we will be given a string and we need to return the longest palindromic substring. Let's see what this, uh, this means. So this string is given B A B A D. So the longest palindromic substring is B A B. So you, if you see B A B or you can take A B A both are answer because we need to find longest and this has length 3 B A B and A B A is length 3. So you can return either of these either you can take B A B as answer or you can take A B A as answer both are palindrome. After successfully conducting scholarship test in last few months, Coding Ninjas is back again with its scholarship test, where students and professionals can get up to 100% scholarship on any course of Coding Ninjas. Test dates are 21st and 22nd November 2021 at 9pm. In case a student is not able to give the test on 21st of November due to any reasons, they can appear for the same on 22nd of November at the same time. The scholarship will test a student's aptitude skills. Registration fees is 99 rupees. Use the code in the description to get 50% discount on the registration fees. So, if you don't know what palindrome is, so palindrome uh, is a uh, like a string is palindrome if it is same from left to right and it is same from right to left. For example, if we take ABA, so if you read it from left to right, it's ABA, and if you read it from right to left, it's also ABA. So, it is a palindrome. So we need to find in this question, we need to find longest palindromic substring. That means we have we have two things which, which we need to take care of. It should be longest and it should be palindromic substring. So let's see how we can approach it. So for that we need to see a few more test cases. Let's see the other test cases also. So if you see this test case. In this we have BB as palindrome so uh, it's it is a maximum palindrome so for example if we have this uh, like let's take this test case if we have a C D E so if there is no palindrome in a string right like uh, here there is no palindrome then a single character is considered as palindrome in itself so in this the answer will be you can print either C or you can print D or you can print E any single character so this is one test case this is one test case and this one which we saw is another test case so in this bb is the palindrome which is the output and if you see a so we saw this test case that if there is a single like no palindrome the single character is considered itself as a palindrome so this is a palindrome another test case ac so same either you can print a or you can print c so now one observation just pause the video and view all these test cases and see if you can observe something from the output like all these outputs what do you uh, do you see any pattern in these so i hope you have guessed it so uh, the pattern is see like sometimes the palindrome is odd length and sometimes the palindrome is even length see over here it was bab this is even length a uh, odd length and if you see over here, it uh, the palindrome was BB. So it is even length. Similarly, here it is odd. It, here it is odd. So we need to, we will have two cases. Two cases could be that answer could be even sometimes, even length. Or answer could be even length or answer could be odd length. Right. So let's see how we'll approach it. So we will be taking this test case. So let's uh, for this the output let's take output as ABA both are correct ABA is also correct BAB is also correct anything you can uh, print so let's take ABA ABA so this is our output now see like if we are at B right we are at B uh, it will be palindrome if to the left character of B and to the right the character uh, of B is are same. So see A is same, right? So uh, till now our palindromic uh, substring length is three. 
now we should check whether this b is same as this but no they are not same here it is b and here it is d so here are palindromic substring ends right if if suppose this test case could be like this like b a b a b like this so we will be here in the middle and we will check if to the left correct uh, of b this character is similar to this yes then you will see this is similar to this yes so our total length is 1 2 3 4 5 so output will be 5 and the uh, output uh, will be ba ba b like this whole string now i i think you have got the approach so basically the approach is that we will be choosing like we will take uh, fix one character like like this we fixed here character and we will check to the left and to the right now the question arises the question is which character we will fix which character which character now you will say that okay we will fix the middle one because here also we are checking the middle now so for that let's take another test case you will understand so let's take this test case like we have a a b like this and then we have uh, something like d c e f g h so yeah let's take this test case now if we say that we will divide from middle and we will check to the left and to the right so middle is c we will check left one is same as right it's not same so here we will stop right we will stop as we uh, we were doing here also that the same thing that when we uh, in the so when we separate in the middle and we will check to the left and to the right if the characters are not same we will stop like here we stopped right so how but the answer ideal answer should be this now b a b b a a b so the conclusion just think just pause the video and think now what is the solution for this always we should not like compare from the middle we should compare for for every character right for suppose we are comparing right now for c then we should compare for this b also that if we take this b compare from this the left one and the right then go here compare from the left and right then go here compare left right so if we do it this way then when we will come here we can find our solution now the problem here is that this palindrome is even length because since it is even length over here over here this was odd length right b a b a b it was odd length so we got a middle character and we can find we can like compare to the left and right like left because this is odd le odd length right so it will have one extra character this middle one will be the separating character like separate left part left part from right part but here here it is even length palindrome so in even length na there will be no like a, a separating character we need to like if this is i and this is i plus 1 index then we need to compare i with i plus 1 right if i and i plus 1 are same or not then we will compare i minus 1 with i plus 2 so i i think it's a bit confusing let's see it again so two cases comes now i hope you're getting what we are doing step by step i'm, I'm trying to explain so let's take two test cases so suppose first of all let's take uh, this this is a, the odd character so b a b a d this is odd length and over here it will be even length so let's take b c c a right now we analyzed two things right we analyzed two things first one is that 
we have to have two cases odd and even then we analyze that at every character we need to check the left and right character so that like for every character we need to check like for every character right so let's see how we'll do for this so first of all for this since it, uh, we will be doing two things we will be checking for odd length palindrome also and we will be checking for even length whether it has odd length or even length we don't know in initially right so what we will do is we will have i and i plus 1 index this will be for even length and we will have i plus 1 and i minus 1 this will be for odd now you will say why this is for odd see if we for odd length this will be fixed so we will be comparing suppose if this is i we will be comparing i minus 1 index this one with i plus 1 index for odd for odd and for even for even see if if this is even case for even there will be no separating character so if this is i this is i index we will be comparing this c with this one so this will be i plus 1 so i and i plus 1 i plus 1 and i minus 1 this is for odd and this is for even so i hope you understood this now let's see how we will dry run so let's dry run now so over here we have b a b a d so first of all we will check for even palindromes uh, let's let's do for odd palindrome because this has odd palindrome so let's check for that only for even also the procedure is same once you understood the odd one you will get to know the even one also so for the even uh, for the odd one let's check first every so the i i will uh, move from this 0 1 2 3 4 0 index till 4 0 to 4 right and what we will do is uh, first of all i is at 0 so we will compare 0 plus 1 i plus 1 index with 0 minus 1 so this is not a valid case because minus 1 is not an index so we will start from 1 so the iteration should start from one index so that it does not go out of the index uh, out of bounds right so what we will do is we will start from zero uh, one index we started from one index right so uh, i plus one will be two and i minus one will be zero we will be comparing these two indexes so at zero index is b and it's and at two index it's b also right so these we are see we this is our partition this i1 is this is our main separating character and this is our uh, zero index this is two index so they are equal means up till now we got this much palindromic substring right so what we will do is we will store this length somewhere this length will be the left this is the this is the right index and this is the left index so the length will be right index minus left index plus 1 so this will be 2 minus 1 plus 1 it will be 3 so maximum length is 3 see 1 2 3 now since we got these b and b same so we will try to expand this palindrome right so what we will do is right index we will try to increase so that it expands and left index we will try to decrease so that it expands see to right we have to increase and to left we have to decrease so that this this thing becomes like it expands right so this becomes 3 and this becomes minus 1 so this could not be possible this is not possible so we will stop our loop here and i1 is completed iteration for i is equal to 1 is completed now we'll go for i is equal to 2 right same thing now our this is the this is our partitioning character now and we will compare its this index i minus 1 index with this i plus 1 index so similarly we will uh, 
do iterations for all i is equal to 1 till i is equal to 4. Uh, ideally, we should go till i is equal to 3 because then we have to do i plus 1. So it will come 4. So I hope you understood the approach. Uh, we, this is the way we are doing. We are trying for we are uh, trying for every uh, index and we are just expanding and checking the characters on the left and the right part, left index and the right index. And the, for the even uh, even uh, even palindromic case, you just need to compare i index with i plus one. So let's see the code. I hope you understood the approach and diagram. It's very simple. So the code is in Python and it's very easy to convert into C++ and Java. So let's start. So first of all, we have to print this palindromic substring. So we are taking start index, whatever will be the start index of the this palindrome and the max length, right? Initially, we have taken max length as one because obviously one uh, length will be always for the because see one length will always be right so first of all uh, we are starting uh, for i in range 1 till len of s and what we are doing is this is our or see this is uh, i minus 1 i so it's uh, your choice right you can take i and i plus 1 also 